Okay, so my name is Helena Sheehan and I'm going to do a little video for Biolog.ie. Um, I've already done a video on an introduction to photosynthesis. Now we're going to look at the details of how exactly the plant creates the glucose. So photosynthesis, the light stage. It's also known as the light dependent stage. This means that it's dependent on light to occur. It cannot happen if light is not present. There are two pathways within the light stage. Pathway one is called cyclic electron transport. So let's have a little look at it here. Um, we know from the previous video that chlorophyll is a green pigment within plants and that chlorophyll has the ability to absorb sunlight or light energy. Okay, so we're going to draw a little chlorophyll molecule here. This is chlorophyll. You find it in the chloroplast of plant cells, mainly in the leaf. Inside in the chlorophyll, we have particles called electrons. Now we study electrons in junior search science. They are tiny, negatively charged particles. You find them in atoms. You're not going to be asked what they are in leaving cert biology. But we need to think of them as negatively charged particles. They're found in almost every substance and they are very good at absorbing energy. So these are electrons. We write it as E minus. So the first thing that happens is when light shines down on a plant, the plant has the ability to absorb the light. So the first thing is that chlorophyll absorbs light energy. That is its function. The second thing that happens is that then the electrons within the chlorophyll molecule become energized. So just color some here in red. These are our energized electrons. So number two, electrons become energized. Okay. The energized electrons are then passed to an acceptor molecule. This is number three. Energized electrons are passed to an acceptor molecule. They are then passed along an electron transport chain. So what happens? is that the electrons are passed from the chlorophyll to the acceptor molecule, then from the acceptor molecule along an electron transport chain until they go all the way back into chlorophyll. The reason that this stage is called cyclic electron transport is because the electrons travel in a cycle. It is cyclic. They start off in chlorophyll, they become energized, they're passed to an acceptor molecule. They are then passed along an electron transport chain and back into chlorophyll where the whole process begins again. So number four, jot it over here. The electrons are passed along an electron transport chain. The electron transport chain is basically a series of reactions and as the electrons are passed along this chain they release their energy. So we'll draw, we'll say we've got energy being released. So initially the electrons received the energy from the sun. Now they are passed along the electron transport chain and they are releasing their energy. And inside in the plant, in the cell of the plant, we have Adenosine diphosphate, phos adenosine diphosphate, excuse me. And we have phosphates, and when they combine with energy, we get ATP. Now the purpose of ATP is to store and transfer energy. It's a high energy molecule. So what has effectively happened here is the energy started out in the sun. 
chlorophyll absorbed it. Electrons became energized and now the electrons have released the energy. The energy is now stored right here in this ATP molecule. Plants have the ability to do all of this. Same here, energy plus ADP plus P gives us ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Because if you have adenosine diphosphate, which has two phosphates, and you add a phosphate, then you get adenosine triphosphate, which has three phosphates. So the plant has succeeded here in trapping the sun's energy. It is now stored within this ATP molecule. There is another pathway within the light stage. And I'm going to draw that one as well. Did I finish? Actually, here, there's another little part. I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's jot in number four here. Number five. the electrons release their energy which is then stored in ATP okay now the last thing that I'm just going to mention here is that number six down here. The low energy electrons return to chlorophyll. And then the cycle can begin again. So that is the light stage of photosynthesis pathway one cyclic electron transport. I'm going to I think I'm going to leave the video at that and I'm going to do another video on pathway 2 because otherwise it might be a little bit too long.